my journey from 6,500 square feet to 2,500 square feet. It's just taking a lot of strength. Hey guys, welcome to my official house tour. I'm so excited to show you guys my new home. I know it's been a long time coming, but the past few weeks have been quite crazy. As you guys know, I wanna first, before we get into the video, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. It means so much to me. Every day is so different. Like I have a lot of ups and downs and the emotions are just coming out at random times. So I appreciate you guys bearing with me. I'm so excited. I am finally in my, well, actually I've been here for a minute, but this is like the first you guys are seeing of it. I'm in a blank canvas. I'm in a blank space. I'm so excited to design it just the way I want to. It is not your typical house that you guys see on every other creator's channel. It's not a brand new house. It has a lot of history. It's actually a home in the Hollywood Hills that's built in the 1950s and that's very much my style. I don't think you guys even know that about me. I'm really drawn to the 50s, 60s, 70s, that kind of era. I love a home with character and little quirks. I don't know. I'm just really happy here. From the second I walked in, I felt at home. Like I wake up every morning and I'm at piece. I can't put into words. I don't want to get emotional about it, but I'm so happy here and I'm so excited to turn it into a home and take you guys along the way. So if you will, welcome to my home. All right. So the first thing actually right when you step forward, as you can see, these are beautiful Dutch doors. So what that means, half of it opens, half of it closes. So I can keep the critters out by getting the fresh beautiful air and the beautiful light in. And I love it. All the doors in the house are like this, except maybe three or four. But yeah, it has this beautiful character and I'm so obsessed with it. So as you walk in, you walk right into the living room. Here is this beautiful air filled, bright, beautiful space with these gorgeous windows. I'm obsessed with these. I actually grew up with a, in a house that had these very similar windows. Um, you turn them out, it's very Rapunzel-esque. I heard he put in some window boxes with beautiful flowers. These two I won't use because I think my desk will be right here in the middle, but look how stunning this space is. Like I feel so creative here already and I don't even have my desk yet, but all of them are like that. Um, everything has a fresh coat of paint. You know, this house has been here for a minute and it wasn't repainted at all. So it has this beautiful woodworking, the detail the ceiling is beautiful. I wanted to keep this the natural color and then I just did everything else white so it really pops and you know leaves some of that character that it had in the house which I'm obsessed with. Okay so we just turn and we are right here in the living room. We have a beautiful working fireplace. This brick was painted a different color and I didn't like it so I had it painted white and the paint uh, is this beautiful soft gray. It's not cool tone, it's not warm tone, it's right in the middle. But that is the fireplace. Another beautiful window there. This is the wall where the couch will go. I think I'm doing an L-shaped sectional, so there'll be like a chaise lounge there, couch, and then it'll come right up to here. I'm trying to get the biggest couch I can possibly get in here. The floors are brand new in this room. They're this beautiful like mint ceramic. I think they're actually porcelain tiles, but they're really pretty, easy to clean, and they go with everything, and I really like them. And Storm likes it because it's nice and cool, huh, Storm? Storm is getting adjusted for those who are asking. He's a little nervous, but he's been really, really good. He found his little spaces that he likes and he likes really just having all the attention. Okay, so right off the kitchen is probably one of my favorite spaces. It's like this beautiful hidden garden surrounded by, there's literally a tree right here. It's so pretty. There's a little barbecue there, which I love. I love a charcoal barbecue. There's just so many plants. It's super private, oak tree. There's this old fountain here. I think I can get this to work. I don't know who would put dirt in there, but that's not gonna happen. We're definitely gonna get that working. I just see like lots of impatience, lots of flowers here. This is the back of the house. It's covered in ivy. Again, I mean, I'm gonna need to reshingle. I'm gonna need to do all the windows again, do the gutters, all this stuff, but it's so pretty and magical here. Like I can imagine maybe a dining table there or I can take a couch and put it here. A fire pit, I don't know, it's just so pretty. I can't wait to just sit out here and be creative. It's so nice. Honestly, this is my journey. My journey from 6,500 square feet to 2,500 square feet. It's just taking a lot of strength just to downgrade from such a big <laughs> mansion to something a little more humble. No, I'm kidding you guys. I've never been one to need a massive house or a massive space. It was beautiful, but being in a brand new house was actually not really my style. Like I like I said, like I love a house with character. I love like woodworking. I love all this stuff that they don't they don't build like this anymore. And it just has like a really good energy and a good vibe here. And also when you're with someone and you build a home together, you have to work with them and their designs and their styles and what they like. And he and I differed so much. So it's 
gonna be really exciting to show you guys like a whole different side of me. And right now I have literally nothing in here except this plant and some alcohol. Shall we continue? Okay, so moving on, we have this little bar area. Looks a little countertop. It's quite small, so I don't think I'll ever be using it, but I'm gonna put two stools here and just make it look really cute. And then this is the kitchen. The kitchen's really simple. I don't gag. I know it's not my last kitchen, but I really actually love the wooden countertops. I'm gonna sand this down because right now it is not sanded, it is not stained, and it doesn't have like a polyurethane coating. So it, you see like all the stains from the last owner. So I'm gonna sand all this down and probably stain it a darker wood color because I think that'll look good with the light. I might even refinish these. These make me sick. These glass doors make me sick. So I don't know, I might like take these panels out paint it, I'm not sure. This is cute, I love this green color. Again, the woodworking throughout is really, really pretty. This all just got a fresh coat of paint, so it's all very, very bright. But yeah, the kitchen, I mean, the appliances are brand new. DeLonghi, that's an amazing brand. This is a great stove. I just forget that it's just me. Electrolux refrigerator, like everything's top of the line, but this makes me violent. What is this? A center for ants! I don't think there's anything that makes me more upset than Overmount Sink. That's gonna change. I'm pulling this bitch out. I'm gonna pull her out tonight, honestly. I want, I'm envisioning a beautiful matte black faucet, a white undermount sink, maybe like a farmhouse sink, and then this being a beautiful dark brown stain. And then who knows, I might paint these. I'm definitely getting rid of these door knobs, these pulls. I know these are from Ikea. They make me violent as well. But yeah, we have our work cut out for us, but hey, that's what a whole series is for. So as you guys know, well, you don't know, now you know, I am turning this into a series that is coming soon in the fall. I have another series that is launching in about a week that will kind of like gently ease me into this home design, home decor kind of world, which I've really been wanting to cross over into. So hopefully you guys are excited for that. Make sure you have my notifications on and make sure you are subscribed all those things because all of that really, really matters and it really helps. Okay, moving on to the nook. This is the kitchen nook. It has this really cute light in here. I think I'm gonna keep this it's vintage and there's a smaller one right here. And this skylight, I didn't even show this to you. We get so much natural light in here during the day. Right now it's like 4 p.m. so there isn't a ton, but it's like this beautiful filtered light during the day, it's so pretty. Okay, the nook. So I think we're gonna do a table here with a rug underneath it. Maybe some artwork. This will all be pillows. Got my Wi-Fi installed today and there's no way of blocking that. So pillows there. Storm, that'll be your little window seat. And then again, we have another Dutch door here. So this opens up, you can get all this beautiful fresh air. And then this is the hill behind my house, which is extremely steep, but it's really pretty. It looks honestly like a little piece of art. Stormy happy? Yeah? And of course I have my little mood board. Is that what it's called? Mood board? No, there's another word. Just the things that I wanna accomplish this year. I actually made this last year for this year, but clearly it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> have a little white wine, a little green tea. I have this candle my friend Christy brought over. It smells so good. Gardenia and rose. And I have some cookbooks actually, because you guys know I love to cook. But I have some of my cookbooks. A porridge book, cause that's all I'll be eating here. Right, Storm? Yes. So, like I said before, a little more about the house. It was built in the 50s, about 2,500 square feet. But the cool thing is it's built into a mountain in the Hollywood Hills. So when you actually first pull in, there's the garage, and then we have the guest house right above it. And the guest house is gonna end up being my editing studio. So let's go take a look at that. I'm also having my mom move in with me there for a little bit until she gets her bearings and decides where she wants to be, what she wants to do. She does work here in Los Angeles, but she's been wanting to get her own place. But I'm excited to have her with me. She's my mom. Of course I'm gonna have her with me. So let's go take a quick look at the guest house. Okay, so here is the guest house. Super bright, really pretty, a lot of windows. I'm gonna open up, I just had it all painted. So this is like a light cream and then a gray. It has these beautiful ceilings, just so much light here, a little fireplace. Tiny little kitchen, really all you need here, TV, AC unit. I need to get a new one because this one is like 20 years old and like gross. Um, and then this is the bathroom. I don't know why there's a mirror in there. But yeah, she's cute. This doesn't really need any work. I um, It's all like fresh gray paint. It's really pretty, but there's just so much potential in here. It's just so much light. It's really, really pretty. It's big too. Um, but for now, I don't think I'm gonna do too much to it. My mom is gonna be here for the summer. So I think we're gonna put a bed there, two nightstands, a rug, and maybe a table, console table over there. And then maybe like a little couch here so she can have a little sitting area. 
Let's keep it really cute. I mean, how cute is that guest house? It's literally perfect. It's adorable. She's gonna be really happy there. It's a big space for her. So as I was saying, you pull in, the garage is there, guest house above it, and then you have to go up a bunch of stairs and you're here at the main house. And I'm just surrounded by trees. Like I'm looking out right now. There's these beautiful oak trees, like there's hummingbirds. For me, it's not so much about the interior space. Like I love my bedroom. I love, I love everything about this house. But for me, you guys know me, I love being outside all the time. So it's really important that I have the outdoor spaces so I can entertain, hang out. The dogs can just like run around. I can go on hikes and that's really what it's all about. And I just really want to make it special. And it's, it, I mean, it already is special. You guys can see that. Next room is the guest room. Look at these ceilings. I am so obsessed. A vaulted moment. So everything has been painted. As I said before, I went with this softer gray. It's called a blackened. I will link it down below, but it's really pretty. Look how gorgeous this lighting is. And that is the view outside. It's just beautiful. These beautiful bookshelves here. I'm gonna fill it with plants. Um, here I might put some curtains or something just cause it's a lot of bookshelves and I don't like that little electrical box there. More bookshelves over here. Again, everything was painted. It's all white and beautiful. I don't know if I wanna put the bed on this side or if I wanna put the bed on this side, but this will be the guest room, guest bed, nightstands, maybe a little table over here. I'm not sure. There's a closet, there's another closet. Through there is another room. Um, but yeah, floors are beautiful. Ooh, and the lighting in here, are you kidding me? Oh, I'm sorry, it is so echoey. But this room is one of my favorites. It's super just bright, has beautiful morning light. I can't wait to have guests over. Um, like I said, this will be the guest room. I'll keep it super simple. I might use it as a filming space as well, but I'm excited to put it together. You guys will see that later on in the year in another series. I just love this house. I'm so happy here. It feels, the energy feels so good. I hope you guys can kind of feel that through the house tour. It just feels safe and happy and bright and it's like a blank canvas and I can do whatever I want and be super creative here and it's quiet. Just everything is so perfect. Okay, next we're gonna move on to the bathroom. All right, we're about to walk into the bathroom or as some may call it the closet. But I don't need your judgment. Save your words, bitch. Let, let me see your bathroom, how big it is. But you guys know I had a huge bathroom, double vanity sink, steam room, all that good stuff, whatever. But it always felt cold. So at least this bathroom feels really warm because I'm taking up most of the breathing room in it. It's small, but I'm gonna gut it eventually, rip it out a little, make it bigger, push back the wall. We'll see. Okay, brace for impact, bitch. Bum, ba da bum. Okay, there's the bathroom. All right, not much to see here. All right, let's move it on. No, I'm just kidding. Um, okay, so shower, brand new tiling. Really, honestly, a great shower. The water pressure is amazing. I put this cute little curtain in here. This is from Target. And also, I actually had a plastic, um, what is this, like a protector on the other side. You know how showers have that? Gone are the days of a glass door. I am... I am truly humbled by this experience. But the ceilings are high, I have a beautiful skylight that lets in almost too much light, gets really hot. I got this guy at Target as well, because you don't have to use those plastic ones. This is actually called a fabric shower curtain. So I put that on the inside and this one on the outside. I think it's really cute. I got this from Etsy. This is for when I take my baths. So you can put your iPad, or your laptop there. This is for a candle, I think, or maybe a plant, a potted plant. This is for a glass of wine. I think that's really cute. So I'll just push that back or take it out when I'm taking a bath. I have my Function Beauty stuff. None of this is sponsored. I'm just showing you guys what I have in here. I actually use the Function Beauty conditioner, shampoo, and the hair mask. This stuff is amazing. My friends at Sunday Riley sent this over to me, but it's on the market now, actually. It's called the Charcoal Smoothie. Um, it's Salicid Acid, Activated Charcoal, Coconut Water, and Manuka. I think that's Manuka Honey. Packaging is so cute. This is a body scrub. It's actually really, really good if you guys have like texture on your arms, on your body, or any like back knee or anything. Thing. It just really cleanses you and it gets rid of all that dead skin stuff. So check that out if you guys are into it. And then I just have a little body wash that I got from Home Goods. So over here, hello, I'm in my house shorts. This light makes me sick. I'm gonna rip this out literally, literally right now. It's rusted, it's gross. Look at that. Rickety. That is gone, I can't wait. And this is gone. I hate a medicine cabinet. This is my fragrances in it. But first of all, all the shelves are missing. I have no storage in here. This may also makes me violent. I don't like it. I would replace it with a new modern version, but I think I'm just gonna do something simple, gold rimmed. I'm not sure. This is a sink for ants. A center for ants. 
because I li look. It basically comes here already. But whatever. Like, honestly, what? If I really want to, I can rip this out and put a new sink in there. The toilet is wonderful. Very close to the door, so you have to close the door. <laughs> then you go to the bathroom. We're not using toilet paper in this house, bitch. I got a bidet. This one is from, I got this on Amazon. The brand is called Vovo. It's amazing. You guys know I love a bidet. It's heated. It has a little night light in there. It's wonderful. I highly suggest that. We love a clean ass. Above that are some pro- oh wait, there's a window here. This, again, same view, the ivy, it's screened, it lets in that beautiful air. Some other products I've been using, um, this is amazing, it's called Hyperfade. It's by Zit Sticka. Uh, again, not sponsored, but I have some acne scars that I'm trying to lighten up, so I've been using that recently. This, I think I got, I'm not really sure, Bed Bath & Beyond, maybe a candle, some fresh vitamin nectar, I love this stuff. Um, I've been using this cleanser by Kinship. It's um, Naked Papaya Gentle Enzyme Face Cleanser. It's really nice, smells really, really good. And then this is actually by my friend, Adele. She lives in Malibu. She, she is a world-renowned model, actually. Hand, face, feet model. So she really put in a lot of time and effort to create this product. It's just an all-over moisturizer for hands, face, and body. I know that sounds weird, but there's essential oils in here, frankincense, coffee berry, hyaluronic acid. So if you guys want to check that out, the link will be down below. It's amazing, and she's wonderful, and I love to support her. I have some of these little... This is like a makeup remover, but I use it just for anything, taking off anything on my face. By Face Halo, this is their Pride collection. So I bought some of these to support my friend. And then on this wall, I just have some towels. Again, this is not designed or anything. Skincare refrigerator, some this I got on Amazon. This will all eventually be skincare. All three levels, you guys know I'm a skincare junkie and I love skincare. And then here I might like continue some more shelves or put like some sort of unit down there. And then this is the door. I'm honestly thinking I might wallpaper this bathroom, but the one thing I'm a little nervous about, since there's no vent, since this is an older house, there's no vent in here, we just have the window right there. Um, since there's no vent, I'm a little nervous that the steam from the shower or the bath will strip the wallpaper down. So that's something I need to watch out for. But yeah, that is the bathroom. It is small. The other bath is a half bath. It just has a, a sink and a toilet. It's just basic. So I will skip that for now, um, but I will show you that in the makeover series. Let's move on to the master bedroom. Okay. So you come in, we have those beautiful floors. There's this beautiful window overlooking the hills. It's gorgeous. We have another window overlooking my backyard. It's so pretty, it's so green. Real fireplace, I'm obsessed. I'm from the East Coast. Some of you guys know that, that this is very important to me. I can't wait. I'm gonna drench it with plants and candles. So I think I'm gonna put my bed right there just because I don't want that morning light waking me up. That way when I wake up, I can look out to the hills. Super pretty. Um, probably there I'll put a credenza. This is my closet, it's nothing special. It's really small. I'm gonna have to gut that and renovate it. But we have these gorgeous ceilings. There's storage up there. I can put more plants. I think I'm gonna put like a shelf up here and have even more plants <laughs> drenched down. But I just love how tall the ceilings are. It makes everything look so big. That's a vent. I need to get a new vent cover for that. Everything again was freshly painted white. All this woodwork is white and this is a off to gray that is in the rest of the house. But honestly, how cute. I can't wait to put it together. Also, you guys, these little, I think it's Chinese, I'm not sure. These little packets, it's rice, it's pink rice. It spilled all over the floor, but it was under the bed. I don't know if this means the bed that used to be here. I don't know if this means like good luck or something. If anybody knows, drop a comment down below. I think I'm gonna keep them for good luck. It's kind of cute. Oh, wow. My skin looks real clear. Wow, not a lick of makeup on. All right, we are at the second, uh, yeah, I'd say it's the second outdoor space. This house has more outdoor spaces than it does have space, which I love because you guys know I'm outside literally all the time. I'm only inside if I'm hanging out on the couch watching a movie with friends or in my bedroom sleeping. If I had to be in an apartment, I would literally, I would scream. So thank the Lord we're not. This home was not really taken care of by the previous owners. So I'm really, really excited to take you guys along this journey. As you guys can hear, I already brought a fountain that I had in my last place, the ambiance. Okay, so as you step out of my bedroom, actually, because my bedroom has that door, there are these three roses, which you guys saw when I was inside. I planted these here already because there was nothing here. I'm not sure if they're gonna stay because the sun, the way it hits in the morning, it doesn't hit this directly. So they're always leaning, but look how gorgeous she is. Beautiful woman. These pots 
thoughts came with the house, I'm assuming because it was too much of a burden to take them. They're really, really big and really, really heavy. This orange tree I got and I potted it. These were pots from our last place, my last place. It's gonna be weird. And then these are two other pots that I found. But as you can see, it's just this beautiful old school brick space. I have inhabited this rotted chair which maybe I can stain that, I'm not sure. I was thinking of doing a little teak set here that I need to re-stain and seed, fire pit, and then some like chaise lounges so I can lay by the sun. This needs to go, this is rough. this haunts me. This, will, this umbrella will haunt my dreams. I don't like a tilted umbrella and it's bolted to the floor, I don't know why. So the bones of the yard and the bones of the patio are really, really good. There's so much potential. This brick just needs a quick power wash, honestly. And you guys know I love power wash. I've power washed many, many a time. I'm gonna fill this with lavender and mulch it and make it look really pretty. That fountain, this beautiful tree, like you can't get these anywhere. This is so mature. It's so magical here. Another orange tree that I planted and then the other space which is the backyard, which goes all the way back. And I'll show you guys that. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I can't wait. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far, but it's perfect. And also I've never been somebody to really need this massive, you know, I was actually talking to Joey about this a long time ago. I was like, do you think our life is too mature for where we are in life? You know, he's worked really hard. I've worked really hard, but I feel like sometimes we would sit in bed and just like, I don't want this to come off like in a shitty way, but like, what else do we have to look forward to other than kids? Like. We are lucky enough and blessed to have everything and more than what we need, which I'm so thankful for. But like we have our home that is at the time, assuming was our forever home and we'd have kids there. That's why we built it. I don't know. I feel like I just skipped out on this phase of my life of like being somewhere that is all you need. You know, we had a we had more than we ever needed as much as it was appreciated. It wasn't, you know what I mean? Kind of taken for granted a bit. Again, I don't want you guys to think that I'm like trying to show off or anything because I wasn't. That's not me. I grew up in a two bedroom house with one bathroom that barely worked. We could not afford hot water all the time. And that's why I joined the swim team. That's why I showered at school before class. It's just like I'm not even gonna say humbling. It just feels good to be in a place where I have a little bit of work to do but it feels so special and so true to who I am. I love a home with charm. I love a home with history. I love anything from like the 40s, 50s, 60s, just that vibe, you know, the brick, the patio work, the woodwork, the beams, like everything. And I know I'm gonna be really happy here. I already am happy here. And this place is really just, if I was anywhere else, I know I'd be miserable because I just didn't grow up in just four walls. You know, I, I grew up in a small house, but we, I grew up on land. I grew up on like five acres. I'm happy. Am I rambling too much? Anyways, I just wanted to open up and talk to you guys about that a little bit. And I don't care who judges me. I don't need to have the same house as every other YouTuber, every creator, every single person my age. Like this is all I need, it's just me. And I'm gonna make it the most iconic, gorgeous home. And everybody's gonna be so jealous because they can never do it like me. And you guys know that's tea. All right, so as we leave this patio area, I wanna put an arbor here, a white picket arbor, plant roses on either side and let the roses climb. And then I'm also gonna fence in this area. So there'll be a four foot white picket fence here and going in the back of there to fence in this property so the dogs can have like a place to be. Um, these will probably stay, but I really wanna do a rose garden. So I might pull all these out and plant beautiful roses. I'll probably take a bunch from the house because Joey's never gonna take care of them and plant them all along here. But again, like look how serene this is. There's a house over there. Like no, I can literally be naked out here and nobody will see. I put these little solar lamps because there's no lights out here at night and it's really scary. That owl's gotta go, sir. Bye, you're frightening. And then back here, I, I unloaded a load because my um my property goes up to that tree over there. And this is kind of like another private driveway, but this is all stuff I need to take inside. As you can see, it just like wasn't really taken care of. Yeah, it just really wasn't taken care of, but I'm so excited because now I have a bunch of projects. I'm just thinking lots of roses on this wall. I want to do like a climbing roses. There's this beautiful bench here, which is like, I don't know, this weird driftwood. How gorgeous. But I am so excited to get this place together. I'm so excited to have movie nights here. I'm gonna do like a projection screen in the backyard. I'm gonna do like little poofs and blankets and have my friends over, have the dogs. They'll have the yard to run around in. Even though it's not a massive yard, it's really big for this area because I'm in the Hollywood Hills and a lot of these houses don't have yards. I'm built into the mountain. There's nobody here except me and the coyotes and all these little ground squirrels, which I'm gonna murder. No, I'm not, just kidding. Maybe. That's pretty much it for the house tour. All right, well, that is it for the house tour, you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Here. Thank you for staying. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the support, the love, everything. I really do appreciate it. This is such an insane time in my life and I'm extremely, extremely lucky to have this outlet to like 
pour my heart into because this is what I do. Like I love to create a home. I love to design. I love to decorate all those things. Just I see the space and I see all the potential that that it has within it. And I'm really excited to share that with you guys saying that for the 80th time. But truly, like this makes me so happy and I'm very, very lucky to have this outlet to really make this home. I'm so excited to call it home. I feel safe. I feel happy. Storm's happy. My mom's happy. It's wonderful to have her here with me. I'm not going to get emotional just because I'm really happy. And I want you guys to know that I didn't think I would be happy and I'm really happy. I couldn't imagine, not that there's anything wrong with like a one bedroom apartment, but I like, I don't think I could imagine being surrounded by a bunch of buildings in West Hollywood or Hollywood, like where all my other friends live. Like this means so much to me and knowing that I can create a home of my own and have people and cook for my friends and hang out with them and just spend quality time with great people. I'm that's what's like keeping me going right now. But yeah, thank you for watching. I know this isn't a 6000 square foot house, but I'm so, 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 so happy and so grateful. If I had anything else, I'd be so overwhelmed and it would just be too much. My mom taught me from a young age, make wherever you are more beautiful and make it your home. And that's what I'm here to do, bitch. And you guys know that I do that well. So if you guys are excited for a new series, sorry, I've been talking your ear off. If you're excited for a new series, please leave a comment down below. Please subscribe and please, please, please turn on my notifications. I'm aiming for a Sunday and Tuesday upload schedule at 11 a.m. PST. So I will see you guys on Sunday with a new video. Um, I love you so much. Thank you for watching. I still don't have an outro. So yes, this is the outro. I love you. Bye.